Three, two, one. Jody, we have been doing these interviews for <laughs> such so a years. long time. You know, one of the joys for me of doing the work that I do these many, many years is someone like you, I first interviewed you when you were in your teens, and That's now true. here you are, a young woman and mm -hmm. award-winning actress and director, and it, I must tell you, it's an absolute joy <laughs> to follow your career. Yeah, I guess it's a funny thing, having started so young, you know, you see uh, all the different stages, like you do with your kids, I guess, suppose you see the gangly stage and the kind of uh, awkward stage, and yeah, it's funny. What, for you, what has been the best stage? Oh, now, definitely now. Um, I really like my life a lot better now. I, th I think that I'm more at peace with everything now. I'm more at peace with um, where I'm headed and what I want to do and what I can't do, and I've kind of accepted those things. And uh, um, yeah, I, th I think this is the best place. You think now that you have a certain level of maturity that um, that you just are more accepting, is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, I think that's probably true. I think you get more focused on what you're passionate about, and you get less focused on what you can't really change. And you just kind of give up on it, you know. Um, I think, I always think of like uh, or older women going into shops, and um, somebody's mean to them, they say, listen, you don't have to talk to me like that. And the truth is, is that you don't have to be liked by everybody. Um, and I think you realize that later on. I'm not saying, you know, I don't have a lot more lessons to learn. I'm sure I do. But for some reason, I think, especially in the last few years, I think that there's a certain kind of uh, grace and calmness to, uh, to being close to 30 and over 30. Yeah. That's interesting because so many people, when they achieve the level of success that you have, Jody, they feel such a, a compulsion and they are so torn wondering if they can stay there. Yeah, I guess that's true. I, I um, you know, I've been up, I've been down, I've seen people come and I've seen them go, and I, uh, I don't torture myself anymore that much about it. Um, because I've been allowed, I've been able to achieve so many of the goals that I had, now I don't really worry so much. I figure now I'll just continue to be able to make good work because I, I got the goals out of the way in a lot of ways. Uh, no, I, I, uh, I'm not too worried about it. What kind of a process did you go through in accepting this role in Summersby? Well, um, I was you know, concerned to always uh, to make sure that the story was there and that uh, the revisions that came in were as um, perfect as possible. The character of Laurel changed quite a bit from the first draft that I read to the end. Um, uh, Johnny Neal really wanted, uh, uh, wanted a more independent, stronger woman. The original woman in the screenplay was um, very weepy and uh, very uh, weak, I think, in a lot of ways. And, and uh, it's just not very interesting, so they changed that. Were you familiar with the French version of The Return of Martin Gere? I had seen it about 10 years ago, but I don't remember that much about it, and I purposely didn't, uh, I didn't re-rent it uh, before we started shooting. In fact, I'll, I'll go home now, go see it again. So. <laughs> uh, the woman's role in that, you don't remember what it was like? Yeah, I do. It, she was wonderful, but it was um, a lot slighter. Uh, basically, uh, in, the, in the original movie, um, well, I won't give away the ending even of the original movie because people will go out and see that. It, 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 uh, she's very abused in the film by the uh, return of a certain man who comes back uh, about three quarters of the way into the movie and um, uh, doesn't really seem to snap back from it particularly. I hear that they're thinking about a sequel to Silence, Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> yeah. So do I. Well, there should be a new book coming out soon by Thomas Harris. I know he's writing it, and uh, he hasn't delivered it yet, so nobody really knows who will feature in that book. I don't think any, any of us want to do another Silence of the Lambs without the Thomas Harris novel, uh, so I, th I think we're waiting for that. But you would be interested if, if oh, it absolutely. all fell into place? Oh, certainly. Oh, yeah. To have the team back again, I think it would be great. I mean, Tony... Just to even see Tony again every day would be great. Uh, I think uh, we all enjoy each other's company so much, you know, and uh, it was really such a charm shoot. It was uh, so easy and fun and funny, and he made life so much easier, and I really trusted Demi and really felt like I was in the hands of uh, somebody who was heading in all the right directions, so it was a very easy shoot. 
Do you have anything now that you're working on, or is there something that will be coming out? No, this is it. I, I work very little. I work about once a year, and I try to make sure that I love whatever it is that I get engaged on and that I, uh, that I um, see the character all the way through. And if I can't do that, then I'm usually not very good in a film. So I try to make my, my acting performance better by choosing better movies. Do you have in mind to direct again? Yes, I'm, I'm certain I will, but not immediately. Uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you could, I don't think I could love another movie as much as Little Man Tate uh, more than once every three years. <laughs> really? I don't think I could find one that I connected to as much as I did with that one. It was a very special film for me, so. Would you like to have directed this picture, Summersby? Um, no, I don't think so. It's, it's too big for me. Horses, cavalry, uh, period, wigs, beards, it's not really my style. Uh, although I love playing in it, it's not uh, something that I wouldn't really undertake, I think. A little too much. Logistics. Yeah, a little too much, and frankly, a little uh, too expensive for me. Um, um, I directed my first movie. It was an independent film. I had such a nice experience working with very little money that um, I don't really see that I want to jump into the fire of the big studio movie right away, as a director, certainly. Jody, as always, it's great to see you, and thank congratulations you. on your performance thank in you. Summersby. Oh, thank hope, you very much. I hope it all goes well for you. <laughs> Thanks.